Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about bolos. What is a bolo? A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can buy low and sell for a profit. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. And in this video, I am featuring, let me put it on screen share here. I am featuring Butterfly Hustles. And she is an incredible woman who is a reseller with reseller content and you have got to go check her out. She takes you thrifting with her and it's super educational and you're going to see some of the things that she finds when she goes sourcing. Here is her eBay store. It is Butterfly Wings and Things and you guys can go check that out. I will link both her YouTube channel and her eBay store down in the description of the video so be sure to check that out. And if you want to follow her, you can click Saved Seller. That will alert you when she posts new items. It will also alert you if she sends out a coupon. But definitely go and subscribe to her YouTube channel. She is so close to 2,000 subscribers. Let's talk about the first item here. She grabbed this from The Goodwill. And it is a handmade by Lucinda Yates house pin. And if you guys are not familiar with these, they do range in price from bread and butter to, you know, I don't know how high I've ever seen one go. I've never really done a full on fledge, full on fledge, a full fledge research video on this particular brand. But a lot of times they can do pretty good. This one here, she ended up taking a best offer of $30 and she bought this, um, like I said, at the Goodwill. Now, what's cool about the House of Lucinda pins is, I call them House of Lucinda. It's a it's house pins by Lucinda. That's just something I've always said wrong. But they always have this little sticker on the back. So they're really easy to identify. And once you see what they look like, you just know. You know they are so easy to identify. So 30 bucks for that. These are a pair of Zara Trough. Trophallic, trophallic <laughs> jeans. I think they made that word up. They are embellished. They are rolled. And I think she said these took a long time to sell. She said jeans I've had for a long time. So I don't know if that means it took her a long time to list them and she finally got them listed or if that means they were listed for a long time and they took a long time to sell. She said I paid under $5 and took an offer of 40. So Zara is the brand. The next item she sold is this new identity women in, women's extra large jacket collared patchwork look. So it's not actually patchwork, I don't think. It just has that look to it. It might be. I'm not really sure if there's actually seams or not. It's kind of hard to tell. She's got look in the title. This jacket, she said she bought at the Benz and she took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. The next item here is this Y2K skirt. And these were really, really popular back during the year 2000. So if you put Y2K in your title, it is going to bring in that buyer. I did a video on Abercrombie. And they have skirts that are kind of made like these really short mini skirts, micro mini skirts is what she has in the title. And um, the Abercrombie are a big money bolo. Use Y2K in the title. Definitely go check that out. Put Bolo Buddies Y2K in the title. You'll find that video and you'll see exactly what I mean. This one is a brand I have never heard of. And I like how she put Barbie core. I don't know. Um. If using the word Barbie is okay or not, but it definitely makes sense. Uh, let's see. The skirt I bought at the Goodwill was looking specifically for 90s micro minis and found this. Paid $3.49 and took a best offer of $47.99 plus shipping. So you guys let me know what you think about using Barbie in your title. Do you think that's okay? Do you think that's something that could be a problem? I don't know. All right. 
Uh, vintage MCM USA pottery art brown ivory ashtray lava glaze 1970s and this is what it looks like and this is an old piece and it looks to be in pretty good condition she got this at the goodwill on dollar day for a buck and sold it on sale of um, the sale price was $31.88 and the buyer paid shipping. So old ashtrays. How many of you are sourcing and selling old ashtrays? And if so, are you doing well with them? It does look like it has a chip here on the corners. So still sold for a, a good profit. That's for sure. Chico's Patchwork Sequins Suede Leather Tan Green Purple Women's Jacket Size 3. So Chico's sizing runs a little bit differently. So you're going to want to make sure if you pick up Chico's, you do put the measurements in the title. You can see how she uses um, a yardstick to do her measurements. This one, she says she got at the Goodwill bins and it sold for $53.68 plus shipping. This is a Harley Davidson silk camp shirt. It's orange Tory Richard Hawaiian motorcycle. So it's Harley. It's got a motorcycle on it. It's a Hawaiian shirt. I mean, this shirt has so much going on that people want. And she sold this for a best offer of $54 plus shipping. And she got this at the Goodwill and paid $3.49 for it. The next item here is this Johnny Was V-neck blouse. And... She said she got it at the Goodwill for $5 and it sold on the 40% off sale for $63.30. If you don't know, this is a really good brand to pick up. I have never sold it. I have never found it. But if I saw it, I don't really source for clothes anymore. But if I saw this brand, I would definitely pick it up. Pow Peraletta. Oh, I don't know if I said that right. Skull Bones Skateboard T-shirt, Black Men's Extra Large Graphic Tee. Again, Y2K. So probably from maybe the late 90s. Check it out. What do you think? Pretty interesting, right? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, bought T-shirt at the Goodwill for $2 and sold for $69.99. I don't think it even... Oh, it does have it on the back. So it's got the little one on the front and the big guy on the back. I think I would have used Halloween, vintage Halloween in the title. I feel like I search vintage Halloween if I'm doing videos. That's a key word that I search. So I'm assuming maybe people searching for Halloween items would maybe search that as well. Women's Moo Moo, size extra large, bohemian print, embroidered neck, coffin dress. Look how pretty. Look at that print. That is awesome. She's got a close up here. And she got this at the Goodwill on Dollar Day. So I'm assuming Dollar Day means $1, $1. I don't know. And she ended up taking a best offer of $40 plus shipping on this. Clint Eastwood Limited Edition 35 film DVD collection gift set hardcover book. So it is a set here. And let's see what this sold for. She got this at Family Thrift Center for $2.50 and sold it for full asking price of $68.88 plus shipping. This next item is a vintage Native American Zuni sterling silver set cufflet, cuff, necklace, and earrings. Look at that beauty. Wow. That is absolutely stunning. And there's the sterling NS. Wonder what NS stands for. Do you think that's a maker's mark? Oh, wait, that says NS. This one says NF. There you have it. They're beautiful. And here's the back of the earrings. She got this at... A pawn shop for $75 and sold on best offer for $300 plus shipping. So sourcing at a pawn shop. How many of you have sourced at a pawn shop? I bet you're going to try now. That's maybe a good place to source. You're probably going to have to pay a little more for your items. But hey, $75 into $300 is fantastic. Born cowboy boots, Indian blanket, wool brown leather women, size 9.5, mid-calf. And let's take a look at these. 
Is that how they're supposed to look or is that a condition issue, a scuffing? I think that's scuffing. Wow. Okay. The boots I bought at Family Thrift Center for $3. I took a best offer. They opened a return but never returned them and they escalated a case. eBay sided with her. So um, she got to keep her money. I'm guessing maybe they didn't fit or they had buyer's remorse and they opened a return and then they just didn't return the item. And when you don't return the item, you don't get a refund. So that's what happened there. So she got to keep her money and these sold for $45 plus shipping. The next item are these crown vintage Western boots, size seven and a half rust suede leather block heel, all great keywords. She got these at the Goodwill for $9 and took a best offer of $59 plus shipping. This is a pair of Hudson jeans. They're white boot cut flare leg denim low rise women's jeans, size 2932. And she got these at Value Vi Village. Value Village. That's one of her places that she shows a lot of video footage in. And she paid six bucks for them and took a best offer of, I can't read it. It's too small. So I don't know what she paid or I don't know what the best offer was. So I apologize for that. This is a vintage UC Berkeley crew, crew neck sweatshirt. Bears double sided. Look at that. How cool is that? Galt crew. That's the label. Wow. These sweatshirts, they're they're incredible. Uh, where did I put what she oh here we go bought at the bins the goodwill bins for $1.25 and it sold on the 40% off sale for $119.99 so she got her sale price this here is a vintage charter club by Jane Justin sweater embroidered golf theme striped and it still has the original tags on it she bought it at the goodwill for $5.50 and took a best offer of 70 what do you guys think would you have picked it up or walked right past it Check it out. This next item is a, let's see, live a little corduroy jacket brown, long embroidered floral women's boho. Look at the embroidery. And there's your tag. She got this at the Goodwill Bins and she took a best offer. And again, I don't have what the best offer was. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's go on to the next one. And the buyer did pay shipping on that. True spec 27 P basic flight suit, CWU large long sage green coverall. And it still has the original tag. So here's all the information that she needed for her listing. How cool is that? She got it at the Goodwill for $7 and 79 cents and took a best offer of 30. So she did come down quite a bit on her asking price. Could she have held out for more? Maybe. I'm guessing this is one of those items that is probably going to be harder to sell. It's going to take the right buyer. Oakley sunglasses. Plaintiff squared 406309 lead gunmetal sunglasses. This is what they look like. And she's got lots of good photos. So you can see how she has covered every area of those glasses for the person to see. That's very important, I think. Bought at Value Village for $1.99 and took a best offer of $51 plus shipping. The next item is this awesome blanket. Why is it awesome? Because it has an owl on it. It's a colorful striped owl, tight weaved tassel rectangle decor large. And some of these old blankets can do really, really well. Uh, it, it's just amazing to me what some of them go for. She got this one at the Goodwill for $5 and took a best offer of $78 plus shipping. And the last item is a cost kit. Let's try that again. It is a Costco Wholesale Corp Giant Lion Plush Toy Stuffed Animal. And here it is. Costco. So Costco is a store like where you get food. Uh, and that's where she got this. Well, she didn't get it there, but somebody did. So it's an exclusive, I would say. 
The lion I bought at Value Village for three bucks sold on best offer to a teacher. Uh, the teacher messaged her and said she was buying it for her classroom. It's their school mascot, a lion. So she accepted a best offer. I think it was of $30. I cut it off. She gave her a good deal. She gave her a really good deal. I'm pretty sure it was 30 bucks. So could she have sold this for more? My guess would be that, yes, she could have sold this for more. Why? Because it is an exclusive. It was only sold at Costco probably for a limited time, which means there's probably not a whole lot out there. Uh, so she could have held out and waited for more money. But because it was a teacher, she was like, she liked the story. The story was good. So she helped her out and uh, accepted an offer. All right, you guys, go over and subscribe to Butterfly Hustles and follow her eBay store. Again, they will be linked down in the description of the video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. And as always, thanks for watching.